Hello everyone, thank you for coming today uh, to the video walking you step by step of how to set up a Google My Business account. Um, I'm Jennifer, I'm going to walk you through um, what it means to set up a Google My Business account, why it's important for you, and just the quick steps of how you can do it easily from home by yourself and for free. So my name is Jennifer. I am the content strategist at AIM. Um, I've worked in marketing, digital marketing, social marketing, content marketing for well over a decade. Um, so any questions that you guys have, I'll leave uh, the email address at the end of this video. But if you think of any other topics or if you have questions about setting up your Google My Business account, um, or if you would like to troubleshoot anything, just please let me know. Um, feel free to shoot me an email or to find me on Facebook or LinkedIn and we'd be happy to help. So first and foremost, what is Google My Business? We all know that if you are not on Google, you are missing out on an awful lot of business. So that's where people are going to search for mortgages, trying to find new houses. They're trying to repair their credit and find tips for that. So you really need to have a presence and Google My Business helps you have that presence. So they will create a localized listing that's for you that you will populate that information for. And they will um, show reviews that clients and previous customers can leave for you. So it's really important that all of your information is A, set up, and B, accurate and viewable so that you are having a presence and getting your brands out there on the most important search engine in the world. So an easy way to think of Google My Business is think of it as your virtual business card. So if you were handing a business card out to somebody, it would have all of your primary information, all of the basic info about who you are and how people can reach you. That is exactly what Google My Business is. So why should you use Google My Business? Well, <laughs> Google is the number one search engine in the world, getting billions and billions of searches every single day. So it's really important that you have a presence that's here so that you're capturing any potential clients or customers that might come your way. It's also free. It's easy to set up. It doesn't take a lot of time. Um, it's going to increase your visibility in your local area. It's going to allow you to manage your online reputation, or if you don't have one yet, it will help you build one. Um, not in the sense that they're going to write any reviews for you, but it's a destination for people to find out more about you and you can have your previous clients and customers um, encourage them to leave a positive review about you if they've had a great um, a transaction with you. It's also really important because you'll, you'll be able to take a look at all the analytics on the back ends that Google My Business will provide you. And you can say, okay, this is how many people have come into me from this listing. This is how I can optimize it or better um, connect it with reviews or better connect it to my website, or maybe I need to improve my website because I have a lot of traffic that's coming from this listing. So it'll give you some insights that you can use to optimize and increase your leads. Um, in a nutshell, Google My Business is going to help you maintain all of your accurate business information. It's going to give you brand awareness on the number one search engine in the world. It's going to encourage interaction with customers and it's gonna help you attract new prospects and new leads for your business. So step number one, easiest step, setting up your Google My Business account, just go to business.google.com and then you're going to click the uh, manage now button. Number two, you're going to sign in to your Google account. So if you have a business account, I would recommend you sign in with this if it's associated with your business. Um, if not, you can always create an account here too. Number three, enter your business information. So you want to make sure that when you're typing in your name, first and foremost, that you are using proper capitalization and proper spelling. Nobody's gonna spell check this for you. So you wanna make sure that is absolutely accurate and really professional because this is the very first thing that your customers are going to see. Once you've typed in the name of your business, just click next. 
step number four, you're going to choose your business category. As you can see here, for example, we just typed in trade and there are a few different options that you can click on uh, that might be relevant for your business. For you, you're probably going to click on mortgage broker. Um, you might click on financial advisor or um, a real estate agent would probably click on real estate. Number five, enter your business address. Again, make sure that when you're listing your country, your street address, your city, your state, and your zip code, that it's all really accurate information. No typos, um, making sure that everything's spelled properly and has the right capitalization. This is gonna be your first foot forward for your customers to see who you are. If you have improper information or if it looks unprofessional, people are gonna think that you're also unprofessional. So. Make sure that you're managing your reputation properly from the start. Now you're going to update your physical location preference. This is basically where you can tell Google, are you only serving customers in one location or do you service customers in multiple locations and where? So for here, if you are only licensed in one area, you might wanna click, no, I don't serve customers outside of this location. If you are licensed, say in, 10 different states, you're gonna to wanna to click yes, and then Google will follow this up with a little bit more information about where each of those locations are. Step number seven is your contact information. So again, making sure that you're inputting the right phone number, the right website URL for your website. Basically, you just wanna make it as easy for people to find your business as humanly possible. If you don't have a website, so there's a button here you can click on that says, I don't need a website. I would sincerely hope that everybody here has a website or if you're starting a new business or a new brokerage, you might not have set one up yet. I would set up your website first and then set up your Google My Business profile. Um, Google does have an option here to set up a free website based on your information. It's gonna be very bare bones. I don't recommend you um, initially just setting up your website using that account, I would go through something that's a little bit more um, enhanced and has more options for you. Step number eight, managing your listing. So you just wanna make sure that you've ticked off everything so far and that you click finish. You will be able to edit more information and add additional information in the coming steps, but this is gonna um, end the initial setup portion. So now this is gonna trigger um, Google verifying your business address. They do this by sending you a postcard to your mailing address to make sure that, hey, you're actually a really a real business and you're also a real business in the location that you've already mentioned. So making sure that, again, you've input all of the correct information is so incredibly important. And once you get this postcard, you're going to type in um, a verification code that basically just tells Google that you received this card, it went to the right address, you are who you say you are. Step number 10, so you can add your business hours. I know a lot of our members and mortgage brokers, they tend to work you know, 24-7, 365. But if you do have really specific hours, make sure that you list them here. If you have certain days of the week that you are, your office is closed or that you're out of touch, make sure you input all of this accurately too. Um, especially for businesses or for individual brokers that um, are managing more stricter timelines or you have a very specific work-life balance already um, identified for your business, that's okay. Um, Putting in the information here accurately is just going to manage those expectations. So if a client is looking around, they think that they found a house, they think that they understand what they need as far as a mortgage loan or they're ready to take that next step. Um, if they reach out and they say that your business hours have closed at 5 p.m. Eastern time on a Monday and they reach out and it's seven o'clock at night, not a big deal. They're still able to reach out to you. Um, they just have the understanding that, hey, if you get back to them before um, the next business day, that's great. You've exceeded their expectations. Um, if you have not and you get back to them first thing the next morning, that's also okay too because you've managed those expectations from the forefront. 
All right, step number 11 is to add your business description. So for those of you who do have a website that is um, up and running and optimized, you probably already have some sort of a blurb about your company, about who you are, about your brokerage um, that you might wanna include here. So you don't have to use exactly the same thing. This really should just be short and sweet and give your potential clients an opportunity to understand who you are, and also help you set yourself apart from anybody else that might come up on a Google search as well. So tell them uh, maybe how long you've been in the business, what areas that you serve, why you're passionate about mortgage, um, any other little tidbits. They, they're not necessarily going to know specific loan products, but if you talk about maybe you are an expert in VA lending um, or in VA loans, that might be a great thing to add here. They're not necessarily going to understand, um, you know, 203k loans, they might not know exactly what they're looking for, because they're not loan experts. But if you want to put those in maybe broader or simpler terms, this would be a great place to put that information. Step number 12 is to add your business photos. So here you can see we've just had um, some logos that we've uploaded, I would recommend at least uploading your logo. It's also a really good idea to upload maybe a professional shot of you or you and your team or what your office looks like. Um, really just something that gives people a sense of who your brand is, what your personality as a brand is, and putting real people's faces to the brand is also really important. Um, it may also be the deciding factor between going with you and going with another broker. Um, or, or retail. Um, so you want to make sure that you are um, optimizing every opportunity to capture that lead. They've already gotten this far, right? They've already gotten to your Google My Business account, hopefully, or they found, found you on Google, but you want to make them take that extra step of actually visiting your website or actually dialing your phone number. Step number 13. So this is just more verification for your listing. This is what the Google My Business Account dashboard looks like on the back end. So you have a lot of other opportunities to go through to learn some tips, take some tours of additional services that Google offers. You can see that here it'll say pending verification. Most verification postcards will come in about five business days. Um, if you haven't gotten it by then, you can always click on help and you can try to um, just start the process over. Um, you should get it. There are glitches every now and then, but um, most people will get them in about three to five days. So just keep your eyes on the mail. Um, and there's a lot of other opportunities on this left hand sidebar for you to look at your insights. So you can see what's performing well for you or where people are discovering you if you're missing some information or how many people are clicking on your website um, link from there. If you have any messages, you can take a look at your reviews that are coming in and you can target some additional products and services to tie to your Google My Business account. So after your verification, it's really important that you have a plan, that you understand that you might want to create some Google ads, some search ads. You might want to um, ask some of your previous clients, maybe through email, maybe picking up the phone and giving them a call or sending them a quick note on Facebook and asking them to um, submit a review for your Google My Business. You can drop them a link to it. Um, and that's just going to increase your online reputation in a positive way. Uh, you might want to review some additional products and services that link up with Google My Business. Um, and once you've gotten your My Business account up and running, you'll want to take a look at some insights. So I would look at those at least on a monthly basis, just so you can get a feel for how much traffic is really coming through there. And if you need to tweak anything, if you need to update anything, um, and just if anything changes, make sure that you um, update your business account as well. You may also want to add some team members here. So if you are a broker owner, you might want to add one or two of your top LOs. You um, might want to add your administrator on here if you have an office manager. Um, it's really up to you um, for who you want to have access to this. So our Brokers Are Better Network partners are really 
fantastic. Um, we use Agvo for um, a lot of our online reputation as well and to help aggregate our reviews. Um, we use them for Google My Business and for Facebook. So on the right hand side, you can see just a quick example of a graphic that we whipped up that asked some of our members for um, to leave a review. So we got a great amount of reviews. You guys are awesome. Um, but it's a really easy and simple thing to do in order to increase that review count. The more reviews you have, obviously, that are positive, the better you're going to look. It also is going to help you in your rankings for when you show up on Google. The more positive five star reviews that you have, the higher up you're going to be viewed. Um, and lead pops, I mentioned a little bit earlier, but if you are looking to set up a website, you don't have one set up right now, or you need some help setting up or optimizing your current website, um, reach out to them. They are fully familiar with Google My Business and they can help you um, optimize for as many leads as possible. So you can always find more information about our Brokers or Better Network by going to aimgroup.com. There's a little tab on top that says Brokers or Better Network. Just click on that and you'll find all of our partners. You can also, hopefully you're viewing this on YouTube. If you're not, you can find this video and all of our other webinars on YouTube. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and you will stay up to date with all the other information that um, we'll be bringing to you, all of our resources. We try to put as much as we can on YouTube. Um, also, if you have a question or if you have um, ideas for other topics that you would like us to do webinars on, leave a comment on this video um, and we'll make sure to um, create some resources that are just for you. So thank you guys for your time. I really appreciate it. I hope that this was helpful as a quick step-by-step. -step. If you have questions, if you run into any issues or you just wanna send any feedback about this, feel free to email me at communications at um, and I hope to see you soon.